meant to do this this weekend and you know it's just really busy but this is what's going down once a month members of the hustlers kung fu dojo income sandbox it's going to be some wonderful things happening like once a month the most ardent popular contributor hustler is going to get a vacation for two not one but two uh, the first trip is going to be either Miami, Bermuda, or San Francisco. We're still discussing that, you know. And this, this is how it works. You must be an active member of the Sandbox. And you must contribute, and you must post, and you must be part of the community. Now, how does this vacation thing work? Airfare and hotel. So that'll be covered. So... All you got to do is have some money for some food and you're good to go. Now, why am I doing this? Typically, people who are grinding don't go on vacation. Even if they have the time, they don't want to take the money out of the business. Folks who are really grinding in their business trying to build something. So this is just one of the things for the community. Also, I want to build a really strong community because I'm going to give you an example of something that may happen one of my clients has an engraver and I have two other clients who might be clients of his so I'll just create that referral when it comes but if I don't have people who are doing stuff you can't create this referral network you can't refer air to air it's like well you know I'm thinking about doing the business well me too I'm thinking all you could do is go commiserate over coffee I mean who wants that shit well if you want coffee Hey, this is Glendon Cameron, founder of HustlersKungFu.com. Something a little different. Part of HustlersKungFu.com is HustlersKungFuLifeSkills.com. 19 free business courses that can help you learn how to sell, learn how to fix your credit, learn how to manage money. There are so many things that you can do with these courses if you apply yourself. Sign up today. It's 100% free. And who knows, maybe this weekend, you can start changing your life. But really looking at building some solid stuff. Something else that's going to happen. You're going to get to watch me build a few companies. Not a company, but a few companies. And I know people are going like, hey, that's kind of insane. Just focus everything on one company. Well, I'm a little different than other folks. Plus, these are all going to use the same backbone that was having this conversation with a client yesterday who picked up a concept from one of the courses. And this is just something I'm gonna do on like kind of on steroids. Now, the first company is gonna be Attention Graphics Media. The second company is gonna be Hustlers Kung Fu. Well, it's going to be a blend of Hustlers Kung Fu Apparel, and you, you, you'll get to see the behind the scenes, topically on YouTube. Like, I'm not going to go deep on YouTube. I'm going to go topically on YouTube, but for the people who are in the sandbox, the dojo, you'll get behind the scenes stuff. Now, whether it's behind the scenes, you'll get to see contracts, if I can do it. If someone I'm negotiating with right now, I don't know if that's going to fly. Because I had to sign the NDA. And, uh, you know, we've kind of talked about it. But if this deal happens, I don't think that um, I'm going to be able to talk about it on that level. We'll see. We'll see. But the stuff that I'm going to do locally, you know, you'll see the phone calls and these other things. You'll, you'll get that as part of the dojo sandbox and this is insane I've never seen it this bad before but here we go yeah. all right <laughs> maybe you saw that Ben's behind me uh, tag along in my little gank but Really what I want to do 
is foster a business community. Now, what do I mean by business community? I don't want to have a bunch of people who are, quote, talking about business. I want to have a bunch of people who are conducting business. And that's kind of what's been happening with a lot of the groups. That's the reason this group is paid. Oh, if you missed a $5 deal, it's gone. If you missed the $39 deal, it's gone. If you missed, well, it's 99 bucks a month. That's what, that's the level you can come in now. <clears throat> but I really, really, and you know, there's 83 people in the sandbox. So whether anyone else joins or not, a vacation is still going down. So I know the people who are in the sandbox are like, yes, we don't want any more. Less people, more chances for us to go ahead and get in there. Also, uh, had some interviews, looking for another customer service rep. So that's going down. But a lot of stuff that's going to go down where you'll be able to see from the inside on that where the rubber meets the road level that no one else is talking about. Now, this is something else that I've seen, not once, not twice, but three times recently. I put out, you know, my ad on my Facebook page about the customer service deal. Then I saw someone else put in their group that they were doing the same thing. And I was like, and then they were using the same verbiage I was using in my video. And I was like, okay. Then again, I am uh, looking at videos and people are copying my concepts again. Now, I've been through this before. Now, the first time, I got really, really pissed off. The second time, well, yeah, this is the second time, I'm going harder. Copy me if you want. You know, take this stuff, because see, you can duplicate what you think I'm doing, but you can't duplicate my fucking execution. That's where the shit falls apart. And I'm saying this because I know someone is people are watching and they will copy and they will do the stuff go ahead go ahead knock yourself out enjoy i say ungar motherfucker now <laughs> i mean it, it just i'm a different animal right now i'm a different animal because this is the thing when we build these businesses and i got a video where i'm talking about like i need 25 to 50 people who are really serious for my long-term plan to work of serious passive income plus building businesses uh, what I like to call a perpetual business and I'm gonna probably talk about this in depth in the how to start a business fast series is the perpetual company you know what I mean everyone's talking about build a company flip it sell it invest oh yeah if you don't have any damn money and you've got a job more than likely you're not a fucking investor just saying, you know, 5,000, 10,000, you're not an accredited investor. And what an accredited investor is someone who has a net worth of a million bucks or has invested in certain things because a lot of the best investments that, that are out there from through those, you know, the SEC guidelines, you can't be a part of. Like, you couldn't have been a part of early Uber. Facebook, I mean like that early where if you just held on for like three or four years, you're going you, you're gonna to get millions or even built. You couldn't have been part of that because you're not a credit investor. Shit's kind of wild, but that's how the game is played. But I'll talk about that more deeply. But I want to bring together this community of folks who are really building businesses and a combination of online businesses and a combination of offline businesses. And I say this because there's a lot of people online who are li literally full of shit and very, very much stuck and very much limited in one regard. Some of these folks are phenomenally successful. Some are making hundreds of thousands of dollars per day. But the thing is, it's extremely short term. And I know you're gonna like, well, if I was making that, fuck it, I don't care. No, you, you're missing the point. Two things happens when, when you do stuff like that. One, you as a person change and your habits and tastes change. Okay? Second thing is, you become addicted to that way of making money and you will pass up or ignore other ways of making money and 
just completely become dependent upon something that's very fragile. The best way to give you a parallel of this is when a person becomes famous or maybe B-level famous or shoot A-level famous and then they fall off. Then they start doing all of this crazy stuff to recapture that fame and that love because they become addicted to it. This is my whole thing with eBay and eBay, Facebook, Amazon, everyone's just like, you know, they fight me on it. But if you become addicted to making money that way and you can't do anything else, when it changes, and mark my words, it will change at some point, what the fuck are you gonna do? I mean, seriously, that's the big thing. That's the thing that I'm trying to let people know. That's the thing. It is just like, it drives me crazy because everyone's just like, well, you know, well, that's where all the traffic is. Actually, no, there's a few a million other websites and there's a few million other retailers. There's a girl and I'm not, I'm, on, I'm trying to get an interview with her, so I'm not gonna mention her name. She has five Instagram accounts, right? She sells swimwear. She does seven figures, Instagram only. No Facebook, no Amazon, Instagram only, and she's got this shit down to a science. I mean, yeah, five Instagram accounts, 50,000 a piece, and like I said, yeah, she's selling bikinis around the world. International shipping. No, none, no Facebook, none of this stuff. And I, because I, I live in this space and I see these people and I talk to them, that I'm telling you, it can be done. But if you are addicted, if you are addicted, you can't, you become so myopic, you can't see nothing else. You don't want to hear anything else. I have grown men and women i shouldn't use the term grown because grown me well yeah grown that's that's perfect it's it's most uh, appropriate grown men and women who are fighting me like that's the only way to do this there's no other way to do this and i'm just sitting there like ah now i know like let's take um you, you get i mean it just is frustrating because i think I'm three to five years ahead of people on trends on certain things with e-commerce. And when I say this stuff, I'm saying it from the five year vantage point and you're looking at the here and now and you think I'm fucking crazy. But everybody that listened to me on Amazon and took action, I got a lot of thank yous. eBay, I got a lot of thank yous because uh, there's some um, people who have run into a lot of issues with these platforms and oh yeah when i had the phone number up I mean, yeah you know um i got a lot of fba sellers who are like how the fuck do i get out but once again that addiction is so strong that if you can't get something that immediately replaces it it's going to be very hard for you to leave mentally and that's where the success lives and that's where the game is played and it's gonna be it's gonna be rough for you it's gonna be very rough my friend because if you get addicted to that way of making money and you never learn how to truly hustle and I'll, yeah I'll just say it if you're doing Amazon FBA you ain't really hustling you're following the format and you're gain, you know you're trying to game the system or you're doing a lot of tactics that are short-term tactics versus building a company, building a brand, building something more durable. And you know, you, you, you'll you probably say I'm full of shit. Um, you'll probably say I'm crazy, but we'll see three to five years from now when you got addicted, got your mortgage, got all of your eggs in that basket and that basket gets knocked the fuck over. And you, you I'm just saying, you know, I'm just saying, don't do it. But Part of the thing that is really, really crazy with this whole notion of building businesses is people do not understand that the online business model is different than the physical or offline business model. The, you know, being online does not level the playing field. Being online is a completely different playing field. And that's why, you know, going back to the Instagram, I know I'm not putting her name out. Um, 
that's why she can do seven figures a year selling swimwear because uh, last time I talked to her, she spent two years fucking around with Instagram, trying this, trying that, trying this, trying that, because she loves Instagram. And then when she finally figured it out, you know, and she created another account, then got similar results, then she created another account and got similar results. Then she, you know, so she's got a system and a process that makes bank. And that's you know why I'm having difficulty trying to get her to do this interview, but because this, this is something else too. Everybody, and this is this is really really good. Everybody making money is in no hurry to come on YouTube and tell you how they did it. Uh, I was at the car wash and there was this guy with a Lamborghini, and I was trying to. You know, he owns a series of surgery centers, and I said, hey, we're gonna come on to YouTube and do a video. And he said, no, I wanna keep it private. He didn't even hesitate. He's like, uh-uh. And I don't think a lot of you understand that the psychology of someone making money is not this kumbaya stuff. Anyone that comes online and tells you what they do or how they do it has an agenda, myself included. I'll be on varnish. My agenda is to sell you products. I have an agenda. You have an agenda. You watch this video. You're trying to learn how to make money. We all have agendas. And I mean, like, I'll go out and uh, say my dude, Grant Cardone, he has an agenda, but his agenda is very different than mine. Grant is in a position where he can he cannot become unrich because of the way he set up his income and his financial plan. Grant is looking for legacy right now. Grant wants to be known as this human humanitarian, as you know, the same reason that this couple gives this university $2 million to build a wing so they can put their name on it. Um, there's, there's a certain thing that happens to you when your wants and needs transcend money. I mean, you get to the point where you're making more money than you need, Everything you want to do, you, you, you're hooking up the grandkids, you're hooking up the kids. You start thinking about legacy and when you die, will people care about you and will people remember you? Like, look at what's happening with Prince. I mean, all of this stuff is coming out. And I grew up with Prince and I remember looking at the album covers and, you know, just all of this stuff because he was the man. And if you just look at the incredible outpouring of emotion and love and devotion to this man because he touched so many people because he was 100% himself. Everybody who gets to a certain level of success who is not, you know, completely selfish, they want that. They want that. And that transcends money. And that's where I think Grant is. Grant's like, I'm trying to do this stuff, you know, since, you know, money is a game for him. The things he does is still making money, but that is not first and foremost his main goal. Now, my goal is I'm building something for the future generations, so I'm still on that grind. But everybody that comes online has an agenda. And if anyone tells you that, hey, I'm trying to help you out, out the goodness of my heart, to fool your fucking hind brain, you, you'd be stupid because it doesn't make sense. Nobody making money that has a proven blueprint to making money is just going to come online and give it to you for free. There's going to be an agenda. They're going to get paid in attention, cash, influence, refer something, something. And this whole notion of, because there's a few people I watch and I, I'm not going to say his name, but he came out with, I'm just teaching you. I'm not going to charge you anything. The next thing you know, there was a school. Then the next thing you know, it was an event. I knew it was coming. And I wasn't mad because I knew it was coming. And he was so smooth with it that a lot of people didn't notice the transition. <laughs> he was really smooth with it. But this is the thing. When, you know, you, when people get to money and you see someone who has money, who really has money, who is out here trying to get to you, they want that legacy more than likely, or that recognition, or that fame, because fame is a drug. Fame is like fame is more powerful than cocaine. 
so you got this stuff that's going on and people don't seem to understand that you got to become a technician you got to become someone who does because I have seen groups full of people who are theory people who the whole time they're in there to talk about theory they're studying other people but they're not getting into the practical application of starting a business and I realized that probably 18 months ago maybe 24 months ago and I recently accepted it I realized it a long time ago but I just accepted it and I'm governing my behavior because now I have accepted it and I'm acting on it and you know with income sandbox hustlers kung fu dojo it's not I mean it's not going to be the same as hustlers kung fu life skills you know hustlers kung fu life skills has thousands of members right now and by the end of the year probably 10 maybe 12,000 more people but that's going to be free so don't freak out I'm not changing that that's going to be free but hustlers kung fu dojo a lot of courses that I was going to put in hustlers kung fu life skills they're going to be there and there's going to be very different stuff than any other online course because it's predicated upon my experience first I'm not going to give you stuff based on theory I do a lot of testing and to the point where people know that I'm testing it's like oh shit this has got to be a test because how will I know some shit will work if I don't test it if I don't test it for my own brand my own products so my information will be way different it's not going to look like anyone else's information because there's a huge community that's predicated on influence and persuasion versus results and that's why someone who's brand new and I'm not trying to insult you can come on YouTube create something or YouTube Twitter Instagram Facebook get a nice system get a nice website get a nice look and sell you something and then you see in the comments like yeah I just started this but I really feel good about this and you're not seeing I, I see this all the time it's just a feel-good parade where you have people who are still pretty much where they were before they took the course I know for a fact 30 days to 2500 has liberated several people few hundred got cleaver is Morris people who went from oh I, you know I'm here to no money to now I'm making money I'm making enough money to live that's a big transfer and that course is free you can get it right now but what's happening online and it's it's this is what I see I think people are going to become desensitized to all of the Facebook ads because you're seeing so many people who are doing the same thing they're doing the same thing because the thing is I have not seen an Apple Facebook ad now if you've seen one correct me if I'm wrong because I'm not seeing one there's a lot of things that I'm just not seeing with the Facebook ad thing but it could be my Facebook presence because I don't post or repost salacious videos there's certain things I see is crazy I stop clicking on it because I know how the algorithm works for Facebook but I follow people who've had decades of success because anyone can have a good month anyone can have a good year but it's really hard to have a great decade that is some hard stuff so my business stuff my mentors the stuff that I follow I'm not like looking at a lot of the guys in the middle because I am looking at the kids uh, hence the girl with the bikini thing and because they're creating stuff and I think their thing is more honest because they're not old enough to have all this experience so they're really creating some where they are doing what they are then I look at the kids then I look at the older brands who are still relevant and still successful and that's where I get my business information because a lot of the stuff in the middle is nothing but fluff and if you look at management structure the entry-level force and let's call that the kids these are the new jacks that's necessary and then you got the upper level management those those are the old guard that's necessary but when restriction recession compression happens that middle that's what that's what happens to that middle 
gets obliterated. So that's why I'm not really paying any attention to anyone in the middle because I know how this game works and how someone can hack their way to a certain level of success with social media and not really be competent nor or they could be competent but they're not a good teacher and they'll have the look but you won't get the impact so that that's a lot of stuff that's going on but definitely what's going to happen is a lot of wonderful stuff that's going to be coming to income sandbox hustlers kung fu dojo it's a monthly subscription service and there's a lot of cool things and i'm just dropping a little bit at a time so just to be clear if you see an offer and like the five dollar offer the fifteen dollar offer the thirty nine dollar off that's gone and that's not coming back because i figured some stuff out based upon my research hustles kung fu lifeskills.com free not going to change hustlers kung fu dojo you got to pay hustlers kung fu vlogs that's going to be free it's just going to be me talking a lot of shit then hustlers kung fu apparel or hustlers kung fu gear hadn't really decided how i'm going to do that yet um that's going to be the apparel line and there's going to be shirts there's going to be hoodies hadn't decided on the t on the hats because you know everyone likes that flat bill i'm not really a fan of the flat bill so i'm looking at that that may or may not come plus i'm thinking about having a ring made probably a necklace definitely some cuff links so this is stuff that you're going to get to see me build and put together and it's going to probably take 24 months it's not going to happen overnight because see once again I am building a brand, I am building a perpetual business. I'm not looking for an exit strategy. I'm not looking to sell. I'm not looking to liquidate. I'm looking to build, build, build. So with how I'm doing this, I know I got, you know, if it takes, probably gonna take five years to get it where I want. And then after that, maintain, innovate, look at the marketplace and keep doing that. But since I know that I'm not selling and I know that I want to build this business where at some point, I won't even be anywhere near it. I'll be Barcelona watching the Bulls run, if that's where they run, and the business will be running itself. See, that that's the retirement plan. It isn't to liquidate or get rid of it. It's to get it to the point where it is managed by good people. And like I said, that's probably going to be five years, maybe seven for me to get it to that point. And then I just sign checks because I'm not turning over check signing authority to anybody right now. That that's not happen. No. But that's that's the deal. So if you want to be part of Income Sandbox Hustlers Kung Fu Dojo, links below, and you must be a member to be part of the vacation giveaway once a month. You gotta be a member of that. Once again, Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills is free but you're not eligible for the giveaway. Uh, Hustlers Kung Fu Vlogs, that would be free. Not eligible for the giveaway. You must be a member of Income Sandbox Hustlers Kung Fu Dojo, which is currently $99 per month. And you must be a member for at least 30 days to be eligible. So the first giveaway is gonna happen in the May, 1st of June. So anyone that gets in now, you're good to go. So. There you are. Well, if you like this video, like, subscribe, and comment.